Hey, and welcome back to Paradigm. When was the last time I even played this? I don't even remember what the heck I was doing. Uh, ha <laughs> yeah, dance it out. Let's see, oh yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I remember exactly, 100%, exactly what I was doing, and I just gotta figure that out. It, w it won't take but a minute. Oh, what? Nice. That's right, I had to get paper. Now I finally get what that is for and what that means. Nice. Oh, I feel like I'm going to vomit. <laughs> I would too. Your neck looks like a roll of hot dogs. Like, what is going on there, man? Okay, um, yeah. Let's check out what's inside. Uh, yes. What do we got, baby? Some fat beatsies? No, we got, um, cool. A perfect Oosh. Perfect package of passive aggression. Super. Okay, so now we just gotta mail it off. And, um, hopefully in four to six business days, it will reach its appropriate destination and I will get this computer fixed. This better work. Jenkuya. Uh, no worries, dude. Hey, it works. Blast off! The door is back to normal. Except for this whole static thing. It feels like I'm dying. <laughs> it feels like I have cancer. Probably do after visiting this place. I think I'm about to have a seizure. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I, what? There. Right. Okay. Fix that goddamn router. It's been a week. My internet withdrawal symptoms are getting out of hand. I'm getting all sweaty. Do you know how super irritating it is having damp fur all day? <laughs> Funny you say that. I have an incredibly hairy chest. Shut up. Yes, Olaf, sir. And you still haven't fixed Krush's surveillance network. What's going to happen when we execute the final plan? Do you want us to be the next Neo North Korea? Yes, Olaf. Uh, I mean, no, Olaf. Good. Oh, and one last thing. I swear to God, if I catch you posting shit memes of me online again, I will murder you. <laughs> yeah. I probably would too, but that, that right there, that's a pretty good meme. Dang delicious. Exactly what a person who had really oh, shitty memes geez. would say. You escaped my realm of errors already. That's because I'm a badass. And I was I'm, you planning know, that escape room for months. Months. It was my fat ass beaties, dude. It was just an escape room game. Neat. Well, man, it's all a part of the process. I'm happy to give you some feedback. Thanks, Paradigm. This is a very cordial exchange. I love how he has floppies on his knees, like his knee pads, and then he has a huge floppy right there. Um, so, uh, yeah. why didn't you, you know, rat me out to Olaf? Reason one, I needed someone to playtest my escape room. Hard to get good feedback these days, you know. Reason two, Olaf's new plan. Olaf's plan is better, replacing Claus's old one. If Olaf manages to execute it, that is. I'd have to set up an international propaganda network, which means what was this plan? I have to do more than pretend the router is unfixable. I really can't have that. I've got camping and fishing trips to go on with the boys. What anyway, boys? Klaus's original plan was way better than Olaf's. You don't have any friends. Do you know Klaus? How is Klaus's plan different to Olaf's? Yeah, we were pretty good bros. Used to play handball on Wednesdays. You see, you were the original key to the plan. Something, something, the ultimate leader. Unite the world and end all conflict, yada, yada, yada. But Olaf was super jelly of you since he was only made to vomit candy bars. Hence <laughs> the whole wanting to kill you thing. And I just realized telling you some of the plan may have, in fact, ruined the plan. So, um, I'm going to leave now so as not to mess things up anymore. What about the whole surveillance thing? Haha, <laughs> well, peace. 
you've just moved like 10 meters away. I can still see you. Yeah, well, pretend I'm not here and just reset the router. Forget anything <laughs> I said about Claus's original plan. It's not this easy to walk like this, sweetheart. All right, how do we, uh, yeah. It is not a portable Wi-Fi. Oh man, I, I really thought it was gonna be. Oh, that sucks, okay. Rattles have Beep. caused me much pain and suffering. Oh my God. The flashbacks, the memories. We have this thing in common. I think we are at the same war. Um, there we go, okay. Do I have to talk to it? Let's reset this bad boy. Ah. Ye, turn it on and turn it off. Or the other way around. Nice. Wi Fi is working. I can that was actually really now. creepy for just a Wi Fi sun coming up. Feels strange, too. But anyway. Let's go Thank find. God I what? can finally leave this glitchy hell. I think I was trying to find the scientist's head or something. I, I don't even remember anymore. Oh yeah, it's where I got that guy's arm. Complimentary high five. Not anymore, bitch. Now I'm gonna have to rewrite that to complimentary glory hole or something. All right. Let's go to. I think Head Mart is where we were at. Boop. Let's go. Activate it up, baby. Man, that is so unnerving. I was in an elevator the actu other, actually the other day that, like, as it goes up, it hits the walls and bounces off them, so you're swinging and it's going bap, 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 bap. I was, I think I almost, I, I really did think I was gonna shit myself. Whose head is that? A floating hot dog head. All right, so, man, what, what, what? I don't need to go in there. Oh, is, did, was this something I had to do? Yeah, not my type. Much more <laughs> petite than what I normally go for with computers. Oh, is that why, what's his name, is huge? Oi, mate, you like the big Australian types? Hello, computer terminal. I think I had to reset the Wi-Fi so that I could go on this computer. Yeah. Okay, two. What do we got? That's not it. Trentius only knows two sentences. Got any spare cigarettes, mate? And got a fivey for the train, mate. <laughs> yeah, man. Good Jerry Gold. Or Gold Jerry Gold. Everything in this head is about gold. Gold. Reginald Jopodoskovsky. Unexpected error 312. Surplus of generic nerd scientists. Rich, rich. Now that I think about it, I should probably figure out his name before I start retrieving heads willy-nilly. One mutant can only adopt so many heads. Or I could collect a bunch of welfare from 200 heads. Nah. Too much paperwork. Anyway, it's probably written somewhere around the lab. Damn it! I bet you 50 bucks that's him. Oh! Maybe it's that guy. Wait a minute, who's that? That's definitely not- who is that? Let me- let me look at that. Real quick. At his own request, regular water was replaced with drained pickled cucumber water. Surprisingly, being pickled is not as much different from his previous life. No, it doesn't look like it. He looks pretty normal. In a former life, he was Lord of Penguins. Then there was a political penguin uprising, and now he's here. Because he gets ass handed to him. The infamous guy was finally captured in 2023. Term, don't be that guy, was finally put to rest that day. No longer guilt tripping people everywhere. Main head and left tumor are quite pleasant. <laughs> However, right tumor constantly makes up uninteresting antidotes. Great three for one value. 
All right, so I gotta go figure out this scientist's name. Oh, God. Where would that even be? Woo! Baby. What's in here? Glowing radioactive garters are mandatory if you're considering starting up an evil corporation. Otherwise, the evil unions will be up in your grill. Yeah, because, you know, you got to have a radioactive grate if you're going to have a real evil scientist gig going on. Go on, go get my head. I mean, his head. I mean, the head that I need. Wait, what? Where's the head? Why is there no head? Um, is the head invisible? Is it in my inventory already? Oh, it is. Scientist's head. I forgot that I picked that up. Back down the elevator. I think. I have an arm, an arm. Actually, let's check the inventory. What do I even have, boy? So I got arm, arm, leg, head. And I need one more leg. Hmm. It only opens one. All right, well, where, 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 where could that other leg even be? I mean, if I was a leg, where I can see here would I hide? Jerry, I love your design, but you know I also love. Can we? That's a yeah, 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 yeah. All right, use it, baby. So went to Headmart. There's no legs in Headmart. All right, cool, cool. This thing went to there. Mmm, the church. I don't remember visiting any churches. Let's hit it. Oh, the elevator is even worse than usual. Big surprise there. Ah, the Church of Gains. Now presiding, Bishop Gaines. All bow before him in his proteiny goodness, for he will grant you the gifts of yoke. Is there? Is that cocaine? <laughs> I need to convince him first to come with me. Oh, I think uh, he looks like a hippie. I think he's gonna take some of this. I don't cash need money anymore. donations. I'm more of an organic space dust kind of guy, anyway. I like gluten-free space dust. Thank you. Hmm. Dupe organizer. Let's try that. See what it's got, anyways. Old Man McGee K. Occupation? CLG janitor. Entry 842. The things. The things I have been subjected to in this place of sex, drugs, rock and roll, and complete lack of morals is getting out of hand. I wake up in the middle of the night, drenched in sweat at the thought of the amount of bodily fluids I need to clean on a daily basis. How are they still alive? I've literally met and talked to an STD. No janitor should be subjected to that nightmare. Damn. He has seen some shit. I bet you I could convince uh, him with whiskey. whiskey. Oh wait, it's perfume for job interviews and court hearings. Mm, <laughs> ah, that was a good job. Vagabond smell that the ladies love. Mm. Oh, it's just beautiful. Hey, right. don't take that. It's an offering to the glam metal gods. Sorry. Hey, it's actually perfume. Neat. Mm, Can I have it? Oh, fresh it is. Vagabond smell that the ladies love. It's actually a whiskey perfume, okay. Well, let's talk to him real quick, because I don't see anything else in the room, like right now, that, oh, cash money, I could probably give that to him. Come with me so I can reunite you with your head and upper limbs, to form like Voltron, but with flesh. Not talking robots. Please, leave me alone. Ever since I became independent and joined the Church of Latter-day Glam, 
I have newfound independence. Is it uh, really that good? Yes. I got these fabulous boots, my own room, and once I perfect my glam metal scream, they'll give me my glam hair. Shut it's up! close, but not quite there. The Messiah says I'm only days away. Please, never scream like that again. What is a glam... Like, what, what is a glam metal messiah even look like? What will it take to convince you? Is... What is what your yeah. opinion on... They're fakes! Faster, stronger, better, but don't have that warm sound, you know? Yeah, all the same, I'm hooking up with a Paralympian's leg tonight. Wish me luck. Break a leg. You're a sick man, you know that? Sorry. <laughs> it's getting worse. I think I may be fathering a son. My dad jokes are getting so bad. Yeah, that was pretty... That was a next level of dad joke right there. Mm. See ya. Got to go collect the rest of your limb brethren. Afita Zane. Damn it. I've already got all his limb brethren. Every single one. I need to keep talking to him. I must convince him to join my cause. What will it take to convince you? There are only two things in this world that would convince me. Oh my god, he's bleeding! Rub From his head! Equal rights for severed limbs everywhere. Viva um, la limba lotion. I will see what I can do. I think I could probably do that massage, yo. Unless your feet are disgusting. Because feet are already disgusting and I am not touching it. Do you oh, ever yeah. have rivalries with other body parts? Sometimes. We argue often about how it should be foot shakes, not handshakes. Wouldn't taking your shoes off be really inconvenient? Bah! You and the arms are all the same. When will legs get their heyday in society? When they don't wear shoes. See ya. Right. I'm go gonna go right and give him a massage or something? Really don't know. What if I show him his brethren? Um, Free hey buddy. For everyone. Check this you sucker out. I need these. Damn it. Let's talk to her and see if she can help. She looks like she's so desperate she'd give anything oh a massage. Oh my, you poor soul. I'm so sorry the glam metal gods cursed you with such a head. Have a toffee. What, what's wrong with my head? Thanks. You're gonna have to grab it out of my cleavage. My hands are busy at the moment. I'm not sure if I want... Just take the damn toffee! Yeah. My hands are super sticky from the toffee. <laughs> I hate sticky hands. I'd rather be punched in the face and have it over with. Also, attached to the toffee are my digits on a piece of scrap paper. Just ignore that. I'm not hitting on you. I'm not that into the terminally ill. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, my phone number's on the toffee between my boobs. Haven't we, like, kind of stepped past the phone number stage after I've touched your boobs? Maybe not. I don't really know. Um... There's not even really a question I want to ask. Can I have some of your donation money? Like you said, the glam of the gods did not look kindly upon me. Oh my, I wish I could, but our holy book is against giving money to people who She's got no boobs on her! Okay, I Wait, need these glasses. What? Let's be realistic, you don't have much time left. Come on, I'm only ill in These the are my boggles. My I'm boob boggles. Sh sh I mean, my boob Some goggles. Accept your death. Go on a bender, you'll feel much better. Besides, we mostly give money to the homeless. It's all in the great and sacred glam metal codex. Accessible to all glam metal churches via the dot NFO stations. I'm probably gonna have to look at that. Um can you? No, I don't. I already know what the church is all about. <laughs> it's about glam, glamour. Are you sure you don't want to give me some charity money? Don't ask again. Look at you. You're about to die. It's against my beliefs. <laughs> Read the dot NFO file on the terminal. Maybe the gods of glam will go easy on you. 
Okay, I think I can do that. Um Thank you, Twisted Sister, for your time. Where is this dot and oh here we go. Let's use this sucker. <laughs> I need a statue like that in my room. Of me. That's awesome. That is so awesome. The sacred dot NFO. The beginning. The Messiah. Edict of excess. Charity and don't I wanna know who the Messiah is. The Messiah Glamicus <laughs> Maximus was first born in 1959. Yeah. And it is said that he came out of the womb. His long, luscious hair accounted for about 80% of his body weight, which was no product. Oh, it stayed with no product, glossy and strong. As our Messiah grew older, he sacrificed his time and money to live the enlightened life of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Unfortunately, heretics rose in fame nearing the end of the 80s, naming themselves Thrash Metal. Tragically, Glamicus sacrificed to show us mere mortals how to live. He destroyed his body through his daily excess. <laughs> this is when the CEO of Duplicenex came to save our leader, offering to be reborn as a god with an invincible body. However, due to the limitations of medicine at the time, his consciousness was transplanted into the body of a bug. Until he could be transferred into his ultimate form to reign for the thousand years. Okay. Uh, this. On the first day, there was a leopard print to smooth balance. The glam god said, let there be copious copulation and gross excess of lifestyle cocaine, then rain from the skies for 20 days straight, where the Noah thrust fires arc kept two of every type of hot babe and dude safe. <laughs> this sounds like a bros Bible or something. Depend what you're into though. Okay. Hmm, this. Enough does not exist, only excess. Respect thy dealer, STDs are biological trophies, that's disgusting. The flame that burns twice as fast is twice as metal. Skin tight pants are only pants. Androgyny is a virtue. Okay, I guess. <laughs> a healthy liver is not a glam liver. Airspray is a sacred aerosol. Do exist is to party. Organic foods are forbidden. <laughs> Only meat. The Church of Latter-day Glam offers many charity and donation services, primarily focusing on the providing hairspray and leopard print pants to the less fortunate. However, monetary donations are given to the homeless for purchase of Glam Metal Album 2. Begin the converting process. Look from large gray beards, rotten teeth, and strong smell of alcohol on their person before offering a donation. Also, to note, Never give money to the others who seem like they are on the verge of death. Church money is better spent on our compulsory daily coke parties and daily fines. Okay. I will see you guys later. So I'm looking for a guy with a beard so I can give a donation. I mean, he doesn't have a beard though. And I don't have any money. Where can I get money? I clearly need money. Let me go into the confessional. I've got some sins uh, to, to confess. I haven't been as glamorous as I when should I be. To gods, I have sinned. I have not worn eyeliner or my jeans from the women's department. Smite me down where I stand. <laughs> Please, take me. I'm ready to die. Okay, there's really not much in here. Oh, I can go this way? Oh, that's out of the church. Ah. Hmm. Let's see. We've got head mart, labs, offices, lobby, church. Church is the only place where I have to go. So I'm just gonna re-go to church. I go twice a day, so I can be twice as metal. Voice is holy, the holy gods of glam. I just, I feel, I feel, I feel glamorous. I feel, I feel androgynous. Ah!
Oh, I can go back here? Oh no, it's just big purple lights. Can I sit on the throne of glamour? Yes. As cool as it looks, I'm not sure if my hemorrhoids can handle the steel. <laughs> Can't believe that. He has hemorrhoids. Is that what happens when a pig gets hemorrhoids? They call them hemorrhoids. How do I even get to... Okay, let me talk to her again. I think I can make something happen now. Because the Codex has to uh, tell, uh, told me some things that I could probably talk to her about. She's got one of those books. How do I join the church? Do you know anything about Duplicitonic's plan? Um... Can hmm. you tell me more about the church? Certainly. It's the Church of the Latter-day Glam. It's just like most religions, except you can pretty much do anything. There is a demand, however, for excess. And this excess has to be rock star like You can't just play a lot of Sudoku and expect to go to glam heaven. You must have many copious amounts of boobs. Hmm, how do I join? Do I join the work. church. All you need to do is attend a space dust party for 10 days straight and receive an STD blessing. Would you be interested? Is it BYO? Yes. I think I'll Sorry, be alright. I have some uh, VHS tapes to return. I don't have time to join any churches. Suit yourself. Are you like some sort of nun? Kinda. Except I can do whatever I want. Anything. Including playing lawn bowls nude. Oh, you haven't lived until you feel the wind between you. Yes, uh, yes, I, I believe you. I'm never gonna get that out of my head now. That's... I'm so scarred right now. <laughs> and I just keep thinking about it. Great, great, this is great, Does great, it get great. Tiring holding Thank you, Paradigm. Like no, Thank you no. for destroying my this life. This is a divine miracle. Alright, what have we... We got anything interesting here? Instant tree. Okay, bruh. I ain't got no time. So get out of here and leave. How to get rich quick with adventure games. Jacob Janurka. Because he's a jerk in it. Krushmark. Krushmark. Okay, what's this? Instant Swedish human. <sighs> That sounds promising. So, let's see if we can grab that. Thank you, Simon, hey, hey. for allowing me to have a Swedish human without the messiness of natural reproduction. This makes it quite a lot quicker. So what the heck do I gotta do with a instant Swedish human? I guess. Our space. I'll take it up to the glam church, cause that's the last thing I have to do. Urge to Shut up, I keep accidentally pressing the fish. I wanna go to church. I've got to confess my sins. So God can smite me. Alright, let me out. Let me out. Everybody out of the way. Sinful man here. Okay, now. Let's try it. Would an instant Swedish person compacted into box form do the trick? I'm sure they can offer a Swedish massage. You know what? That's extremely insensitive. What? But you are correct. 80% of Swedish people know the age-old techniques of Swedish massage. Let's check out the goods. I... I wasn't sure what I was expecting. Me... either. Damn Whatever. It. I've had enough of this glam metal thing. He didn't Animal last very long. suit me anyway. Go ahead and pick me up. Well, that was depressing. Alright, let's take him. Beep! I need to convince him first. I did convince him. Pick him up. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got. I think I've got every single part that I need now. Arm, leg, arm, leg, 
unos, dos, tres, cuatro. Those are all the things. Oh yeah, I got a set too. Perfect. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, what's labs? Labs? We got labs? I need labs. Let's go to labs. I've got some pabs and babs and webs and what bab pabs. Where is the poo location? <laughs> I want to go there. It's probably poo world. Oh no, that's probably like the sewer. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see if we can actually put these on scientists. Thank you very much. I really don't need the. I need to save it for us. Okay, I already used it for a sticky situation. Now can I please Free put Liam's these on the scientist? Oh, wait. I need... Damn you. Oh yeah, rebel leader. I've got all the parts that I need. Can I please, please go to another dimension or whatever I'm trying to do? I've e collected everything now. What do I do? Throw those bad boys into the machine. Freaking right, dude. Let's do this. E. Gotta collect them all, Limby Mon. Doesn't. In other words, I need the scientist limbs before I can use it. That's because I do indeed. Limby Mon, that was awesome. Stole the words right out of my mouth. Okay, there we go. Finally. Finally, it is open. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just stick that Mr. right Mitten in there. Mr. says, well done. He won't be passive aggressively pushing stuff off your table. For your effort, I'm going to give you an honorary membership to Baxt. It includes a free cupcake. They're super delish. She sounded a little too excited about these cupcakes. Anyway, I'll go get the machine started. You just press the yellow button. Here goes nothing. Boop. Just gotta boop that button. Engage determination face. And the main. Activate multiverse method destroying failsafe. Full scientists go. It's pits noon. Activate pits. Four fashionable legs. <laughs> Four arms. Yeah. It hits below average hit. Oh yeah. Super quiet. Super <laughs> huge booty, <laughs> yo. That was pretty weird. Okay. Oh, oh god, it hurts! Make oh it my stop. god. Go ask him how to defeat Olaf. Quick, just in case he dies. I don't want to die. Who said anything about dying? I think you're gonna die, bro. How do I defeat Dodd? I literally just came back from the multidimensional plane. Molly, Molly, oh, Molly, 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 Molly. I don't want to know where my genitals are. Molly, it Molly, 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 Molly. The guy kept telling me dead jokes. I can't water. stop looking at that mole. And now you're asking me all these heavy questions, man. Bad. Hey, I met that guy as well. I feel your pain. Oh, yeah, he's a pain. Yeah. Hmm. He sucks. I guess Olaf is a dick anyway. I don't actually know. But I do know where you can get some juicy goss that I'll cast the clickbait curse. I'll be some sort of internet wizard. Okay. So how do I get this goss or whatever? Could I use the goss to construct some dope rams instead to defeat him in a rap battle? That's a pretty good idea, actually. An epic but rap yes, battle of error. Topo Genetics has a space station which they went hatches on with a local pickled cucumber camp. It's actually amazing how much power they hold over Eastern and Western Europe now. Anyway, Topo Genetics holds all their sensitive documents there, including Olaf's genetic file. All you need to do is insert this floppy into the main computer and voice activate it with the password I don't know what to say, oh shit, is it recording? I'll take it from there. Sounds Please pretty don't civil. Tell me I need to use the teleporter again. Don't worry. It was originally designed for this station so that we could figure out why the operator went out of radio contact. Uh, Only downside. I do to have to use it again. Thousand percent of your daily radiation. No! You should be fine though. Press the yellow button three times and you'll be good to go. 
Alrighty, well, I think I'm going to end it there. See you tomorrow. Adios.